If he wants the window, he can have it. It's the greatest pizza ever invented. He was quite offended, by the way. I can't buy them clothes. There is no debate about which way the toilet paper goes. I'm Patricia Heaton, and I'm here doing a highly debatable on uh, the day that my new book, Your Second Act, comes out. So let's do this. Thanksgiving is the best holiday, in my opinion, because it's all the food and not the hassle of gifts. And I'm a mother of four, and um, gift buying is awful for four people. Yeah. Four boys. I can't buy them clothes and stuff. It's terrible. Anyway, Thanksgiving. Beach house. Uh, beach house means you're, you're in a sunny climb. Uh, lake house means you could be in Michigan and it's very cold there in the winter. Shoes on. I keep my shoes on all day long because I have to wear at least a platform because I'm a five foot six woman stuck in the body of a five foot two person. So <laughs> I have to um, make up for that. I'll tell you what, as regarding airplane seating, I thought I was a window person, but I married a window person. And so by default, I've become an aisle person. And I actually like the aisle, except that my husband, the window person, has to go to the loo quite often, which means I have to keep getting up. So um, I'm just, you know, it's one of those things in my marriage uh, that I just um, thought was not worth the fight. Uh, if he's if he wants the window, he can have it. It's not that big of a deal to me. So just kind of by default, I'm an aisle person. But it, it wasn't necessarily my first choice. But hey, we're still together 29 years later. So <laughs> my youngest son introduced me to Hawaiian pizza or pizza with pineapple and ham on it a few years ago and looking at it and just the thought of it was disgusting to me and then I tried it and I realized it's the greatest pizza ever invented and now as as most converts are I'm a zealot and I just adore Hawaiian pizza. Shoestring fries are too thin, steak fries are too fat. I'm kind of like Goldilocks, I need that one that's just right which I would say Skinny fries, which is not quite shoestring. Skinny fries with truffle butter or salt and vinegar. Pancakes, preferably with blueberries. My sons like my pan like pancakes with uh, chocolate chips. I particularly like um, um, lemon uh, lemon curd uh, ricotta cheese pancakes. That's my favorite. Is my husband going to see this um, interview? Because um, I started this a long time ago, actually, quite a few years ago. He asked me what I wanted for my birthday, and I said, I want to go on a trip with my girlfriends. And so I kind of established it that year. He was quite offended, by the way, uh, that I wanted to go away with my girlfriends. Um, <clears throat> and so I've done it uh, just about every year since then. And um, it's just wonderful because women, especially who are moms, don't have a lot of time to hang out and to get an entire sort of devoted weekend or however many days to getting together is priceless. So I, I'm sure he'd understand. And by the way, I just came back from a two week vacation with him, which was also wonderful. But I love the girlfriend getaways. We've tried every kind of pillow and my husband kind of has a bad habit of just continuously buying pillows. And we have a closet that's just filled with old pillows that haven't really worked. And you know, you can't really give pillows away because it's kind of gross. <laughs> so, um, so I tend, I found like we've done those ones that are like curved, so it's supposed to support your neck. Those are no good for me. I found that like mushy pillows that you can scrunch and stick under your head in any way that you want work best for me, but I need a couple of them. Okay, there is no debate about which way the toilet paper goes. You know, I've had a lovely career that's allowed me to stay in some fancy hotels and the way they do it, not only is it over, which is the only way it should be, 
but then you fold the end in a little V. That's, there's no debate in why anyone is questioning this at this moment in time. It's ridiculous. I don't know. That's over the top. I would turn every extra bedroom I have into a closet. I would just stick clothing racks in there because I have an overflow of lovely things. Often that I um, can't wear because I've already worn them on a TV show and apparently it's a big no-no, you can't wear something twice. But I still have a lot of clothes left over that I kind of want to hang on to for sentimental value or they're just beautiful pieces of art. And I need more closet space. So as soon as I get these boys out of my house, after the pandemic ends, it's all closets. It's gonna be a house with a kitchen, a family room, one master bedroom, and five closets. Um, I, well, I'll tell you who I'm, I'm loving now for the last few years is Wendy McClendon Covey, who's on Goldberg's. Um, her wig rivaled Frankie Heck's wig. I mean, her, her wig could body slam my wig on the middle. Um, so she actually is my favorite right now. Um, but of the old timey gals, you know, maybe it's the mom from the Waltons. Like I'm dating myself and you know, you youngsters will have to look up the Waltons, but it was iconic in its day. Um, and, and that's a drama. And for, for comedy moms, I mean, Roseanne was, was pretty great too. I think Roseanne is, is um, kind of like Frankie Heck, so I loved her. Dogs. I'm highly allergic to cats, but cats don't really, dogs are just great. Cats are kind of indifferent. Definitely just the two back legs. That's, yeah, definitely just the two back legs. That, that other one is a freak. Okay, everybody, thanks a lot. We did it. Don't forget to get your copy of Your Second Act out today.